What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be doing another episode of the What Players Were on the Field, and today we're gonna to feature Jamar Chase of the Cincinnati Bengals. Just in case you guys are new to the series or just need a quick refresher about what we do, we take a player for this episode, it's gonna be Jamar Chase, and we talk about their gear, head to toe, helmets, cleats, gloves, shoulder pads, you name it, we're gonna talk about it in today's video. Now we did feature Jamar Chase on this series a couple years ago, but since then he's kind of switched his gear up a little bit, so we felt it was time to refresh it. As you guys know, the playoffs are starting this weekend, and we wanna feature some guys on some teams that are playing in the playoffs. So if there's anybody that comes to mind for you guys, please drop them in the comments below. As always, we're gonna start things off up top, which means it's time to talk about Jamar Chase's helmet. Jamar Chase is still in the shot F7. He's been wearing it his entire NFL career and even before that at LSU. The F7 is the best option in Shutt's lineup and definitely very popular among skill players in the NFL. It's a lightweight, low profile option that boasts a five out of five star safety rating on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale. As you guys can see on the shell of the helmet, these right here are Shutt's tectonic plates. And these plates actually move independently from the rest of the helmet when you get hit. So it kind of helps disperse that energy. This is my personal favorite helmet on the market because it just feels so low profile and fits so comfortably on your head. If you want to grab a Shutt F7 for yourself, head on over to Shutt's website, the new F7 7 2.0 is only 500 bucks. Just a reminder, as you guys watch this video, every single product we talk about will be linked below in the description so you guys can directly shop Jamar Chase's locker down there. Now with the F7, of course, he has to have a face mask and the face mask he's rolling with is the F7-ROPO-SW-NB-VC face mask. This is a pretty basic mask from Shut, but it has plenty of visibility. It allows Jamar to track the ball nicely when it's in the air and it's also a nice timeless look. If you guys want to get the exact same mask for your F7, the steel one is 72 bucks and the titanium one is 200. Now it's time to talk about visors and this season Jamar Chase has worn three different visors. The first one we're going to talk about is his game day visor, and that's going to be the Oakley Legacy, and they're totally clear. As you guys probably know by now, a visor is a great addition to any helmet setup. It looks really cool and also gives you some nice added eye protection, which is always nice. If you guys want to get this exact same visor, it's 55 bucks from Green Green Iron. The next visor he's worn is their Oakley Legacy visor in their 20% tint. Now, obviously, this one is much darker than the clear one, and he only wore it in pregame. These darker ones are illegal for guys to wear in game unless they have a doctor's note. But these are always really cool to wear in practice or pregame just to give you guys a little extra swag. If you guys want to get the 20% Green Gridiron has them for 65 bucks. Now the final visor he's worn this season is the Oakley Legacy visor in their 24 karat gold. This is another visor he pulled out for pregame and it looks amazing. The gold visor is always a really nice touch for some pregame flair. If you guys want to get this one, it's 85 bucks from Green Gridiron. The next piece of this helmet setup is the Drymax Chin Saver. We've talked about them a bit on the channel already. They are simply the best chin strap sleeves in the game. If you guys want more information, Tony did an awesome video, go check it out. These chin savers are made with a hydrophobic material and do a great job staying dry. These are a great way to help prevent against chin acne and make your setup a little little bit more comfortable as well. The one Jamar Chase is specifically rocking is the Pro Easy Velcro one. This one has a Velcro piece right here, so it just makes taking it on and off the chin strap so much easier, just in case you guys want to wash it. You probably should wash it. But yeah, these things are sweet and are a great addition to any helmet setup. If you guys want to grab one, the Velcro one is going to be 14 bucks from Drymax. The next item we're going to talk about is his 7-Eleven chain. Earlier in the season, you guys probably heard about Jamar Chase always being open. I'm open. I'm always open. Excuse my profanity. I'm sorry. After that clip, Jamar inked a deal with 7-Eleven and has been rocking the chain in-game. Not really much else to say, I just thought this was really cool and we tried to include every piece of equipment, so we had to throw it in there for you guys. And if you guys want to get this chain, they actually had it for sale for 120 bucks, but it's since sold out, so good luck. Next thing we gotta talk about is shoulder pads. This season, he's been rolling with the x -Tech X2 shoulder pads. We talk about these in pretty much every single What Players Were on the Field video because they've kind of just taken over the NFL. These pads are just all over the place and some of the best in the game. They're light, protective, and allow you to have plenty of mobility. Basically, they allow Chase to go up and make these incredible catches while being fully protected back on the way down. He also pairs these with their five-sided vented back blade to give him a little bit of extra back protection. If you guys want to get this exact setup, the shoulder pads are 600 and then the back blade is another 75. Now it's time to talk about one of the most important accessories for a wide receiver, gloves. Jamar Chase has worn two different models this year. The first pair is the Nike Vaporjet 7.0. As you guys probably know, Jamar Chase is a Nike athlete, which means he gets all sorts of crazy PEs in all sorts of colorways. We've seen him pull out an all black pair, a black and white pair with an orange logo, an orange and white pair, and then a white bangle color. We actually have a really cool video of Jamar Chase going through all three pairs. Check it out. As you guys saw, these gloves have all sorts of really cool details. Some pairs have the bangle print on the palm and then others have his number one on the palm. The colorways he has and the attention to detail is just next level. And just to touch on the actual glove real quick, the Nike Vaporjet 7.0 is one of the best receiver gloves in the game. They fit tight, have amazing ball feel, and the Magnum Plus palms are some of the stickiest in the game. These are a great skill golf for any guys out there. And if you guys want to get some, Dick Sporting Goods has them for about 50 bucks. The other pair of gloves he's worn this season is the Nike Vaporjet 8.0. He's worn them in three different colorways and 
all white pair, an all black pair, and a magma pair that we actually got our hands on. Check it out. Now, at the time Jamar Chase was wearing these, these gloves were still in their initial testing phase. He was one of the very few Nike athletes trusted to test these out before they were ready to be released to the public. Since then, these gloves have become somewhat available. They're available for pre-order on Dick's Sporting Goods for about 50 bucks. Up next, of course, we got to talk about his custom trade decal thigh pads. We talk about these constantly on the series. That's because a lot of guys wear them and they're pretty dope. For Jamar, he has the Bengals logo on one pad and then his Uno logo on the other. Pretty simple, but still pretty cool. If you guys want to grab some, head on over to Trade Decal's website. They have a bunch of different options over there. Finally, it's time to talk about cleats. This season, we've seen Jamar Chase pull out five different cleat models and all of them are heat, so buckle in. Up first, we have the pair he's worn most recently, the Nike Vapor Edge Untouchable. Now, we talked a little bit about how Jamar is one of Nike's premier athletes and often tests some of their new stuff, and these cleats are another example of that. These Untouchables are a new pair of football cleats releasing from Nike. Of course, these are the iconic Untouchables from 2015, but for their 2024 release, they have changed the traction plate to the Edge traction plate. Now, personally, I would have preferred them to bring back the old carbon fiber plate, but these are still going to be some really dope cleats. You're still going to have the flying it upper in the iconic styling, but the traction plate is going to be different. Jamar Chase wore them in a really low-key colorway. It was black and white with volt aglets. If you guys want to get these as of right now, they are not available, but do look out for them to release in 2024. The next pair of cleats he's worn this season is the Nike Vapor Edge Dunks. For these, he wore a simple orange and white colorway. This is a team bait colorway and are likely to release to the public in 2024 when they release all of the team colorways. The other colorway he wore was a super, super exclusive pair of Oregon Duck PE, and these are color changing. Now, these cleats right here were only given to the Oregon Duck, so Jamar must have an insane plug at Nike. Well, he is Jamar Chase, after all. Guess it makes sense. But these cleats appear as black at first glance, but once they heat up, they actually show through color in this really cool pattern. They're really dope. Jamar only wore these for a super brief moment. There's only one photo of him actually in the cleats and they hadn't even heated up enough to change the color. Regardless, these are insane and some major cleat heat. Now, if you wanna get your hands on the Nike Vapor Edge Dunk, there's a couple different colorways that have dropped already. There's the K1 Dunk and then the Panda Dunks. Both of these sold out pretty quickly. So if you guys wanna get some, you're gonna have to head over to StockX or go and find a pair there. The next pair is the pair he's worn most this season, the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro 2. Again, he gets the PE treatment on these, so he has a ton of very cool colorways. He's worn a black and orange pair, a white and orange pair, a white bangle colorway, and then a magma colorway to match the gloves we talked about earlier. The details on these PEs are crazy. Some have a fade, some have bangle stripes, and then all of them, of course, are in bangles colorways. The Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro 2 is the latest and most popular cleat from Nike. They look good, fit tight, and have the best current traction plate on the market, the Edge Plate. These are going to be perfect for any skill guy, and they're 130 bucks from Dick's Sporting Goods. The next pair he's worn is another heater, the Nike Diamond Turf 96. Now these are another iconic pair of cleats seated to some of Nike's top athletes. He had these in a very clean black and white colorway with some orange details. Now these diamond turfs are another dope cleat that Nike's gonna bring back for 2024. The iconic Dion silhouette looks great as a football cleat and I can't wait for them to drop more colorways. If you wanna grab a pair, I'd suggest waiting till they drop more colorways, but they did drop the K1 inspired pair. Again, I'm pretty sure these sold out pretty quickly, but if you guys wanna find some, they might be on StockX or GOAT. Now the final pair of cleats worn by Jamar Chase this season is the LeBron 4. Now these are another insanely cool football cleat dropping in 2024 that were seated to some Nike athletes a little bit early. Of course, the LeBron 4 is a basketball shoe, but it looks amazing as a football cleat. He's worn two different pairs of these. The first pair was a promo silver colorway, and then he wore a Fruity Pebbles inspired pair as well. I mean, both of these pairs are absolutely unbelievable, and I can't wait for these to drop to the public. Also, just a heads up, these are going to drop as an alpha football cleat, so these are going to be a big skill cleat, so you guys won't be able to get these with the vapor plate like Jamar Chase had. Regardless, the cleats are super duper sweet, and I can't wait for them to drop. There you guys have it. There's Jamar Chase's game day gear. This this dude puts it on every single week, every single game. He's wearing two pairs of gloves, two pairs of cleats, and the stuff he pulls out is absolutely insane, as you guys just saw. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like the video, comment who you guys want to see featured next, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers.